Well, it's a lovely day here at Omega. Uh, a little bit windier than I would have liked for this particular flight, but it's not bad. It's only a few miles an hour, I think. Um, what we are here to do today, boys and girls, is test this bad girl. This is the usual Easy Star, except, of course, I've got a GoPro on as both FPV and recording camera. Back here. Let's get her up. Let's get it up. That's what she said. Wow, that was a little shaky going up, but I got her. Oh, I got a big mistake here. The antenna is behind me in the car. It's flying well, but... I gotta get her back before I lose video. It's flying fast, too. Wow. Whoops! <laughs> Never fly without a video antenna. Good lift power. Impressive. Okay, now, I made a little vow with myself that next time I flew I was gonna run a little hotter so I wouldn't be uh, editing so much damn video. So we're going to run about 14 amps pretty continuously. A little bouncy. That's the gyros talking there. Flying well. A lot of wind up there. Yeah, flying real well. I'm flying on the low rates, which gives me 80% aileron and rudder mixed. Uh, it's really an arbitrary figure because, of course, they're differential to each other as well. <coughs> um, yeah, it's flying beautifully. Let's take her down low over the duckies. I'm not really worried about it now. Besides, she'll fly a little more stably close to the water. Does that make any sense, what I just said? Probably not, huh? I really got to work on that antenna, put myself back where I was before with it. Because I just don't have the video that I used to. It's a shame. I have to be careful here. Indeed. Woo, baby. Yeah, a little wild. This would have been a whole lot better an idea uh, on a calmer day. Nevertheless, let's be brave. <laughs> Probably just about barely missed that guy wire, huh? I guess I'll give you a little tour of the area, GoPro style. This, of course, is the five-mile canal, or however long it is. 
I'll tell you, it's got to be close to five miles. It's it's long uh, to your front here. The four. You'll see that the bee boxes are gone. They took them away. Uh huh. That was one of my favorite landmarks. Bastards. Anyway, uh, this is tree cluster, which is one of my other favorite landmarks. Let's see how well I can do with this. Yeah, not terrible. These are the telephone wires. <laughs> I want to hit if I keep screwing off. What's my speed? 34. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm only pulling like 10 amps. Very good. This here is a tree. Don't know if you could have figured that out without my help. Uh, let's go to let's go to the Great Crevasse. I don't know what else to call it. Super Dutch. This thing is actually not very deep. It's only like a few feet deep. Not even that, probably. But it's really big and it's kind of puffed up and it forms the dividing line between the two great fields. Let's give us a little more power here. This is, what is this? ways out here. I think I'm in uncharted territory. Oh, Crater Lake. Okay. Yeah. It's a lake for the cows to drink out of, apparently. Shaped like an elongated crater. And we have a car. Let's go chase. Long ways out. I'm gonna need more power. Why are so many people coming this way today? Kind of weird, isn't it? And they're there. Hello! <laughs> I wonder what they think of me now. Let's find out. Wow. She is the wind is strong up there, huh? Careful. Sixteen forty on the battery. This thing can really spin it, can't it? <laughs> Too funny, I bet they're like, what the f I would be, and I'm into this stuff. Now that's a 3000 milliamp hour pack in there, so I've still got right at about a thousand. <coughs> moving really well and that's not even with the wind 25 miles an hour ground turbulence is crazy I mean it's just way too much it's coming low and hot low-ish and hot I guess
Wow! That was cool. That's some Doppler effect off of that one. That was nice. 2300, run a 9 amps. 2400. 18 miles an hour, fighting a hell of a wind. Uh-oh. Hey, I lost her. The f there you are. Flipped. What happened to you, girl? Shoot. Yeah. yeah. So there was a definite don't in FPV flight. I had a little, not so little whoopsie there. I uh, got sawgrass on the back of my leg. That stuff hurts. Um, itches and hurts. I had a little trouble there. It, I couldn't get her back because I didn't realize I was running out of power. Uh, kind of strange. I don't know why that happened. I'll have to review the video footage. Anyway, I got her back in one piece. But what's funny is the white car that you saw in the video in the road overflies was, uh, I guess, watching me. And uh, <laughs> when I came back to the car with the plane, the guy uh, talked to me and we had a nice little chat about RC airplanes, uh, drones, you know, basically. And uh, <laughs> he asked me a bunch of questions and I was more than happy to answer, hey, why not? Uh, this technology is like freaking everywhere now. People might as well learn about it and try to enjoy it before it becomes really weird and dangerous and scary. Otherwise, it was good fun flying. I'm just going to have to watch my power. I'm going to have to figure out why I didn't have any audio. Because that was bad. I couldn't hear the motor. And I uh, couldn't hear it bloody anything. The alarms or anything. So that put me kind of sound blind, if you will. Deaf. And uh, that was a problem. That was a real problem. I hope I got some ducks in there this time. That would be nice. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice day, a nice week or whatever, and of course expect more to follow. Bye for now.